right, so here he is, DC, the one, the only, Tony Ferguson, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, and the man who was the first to accrue a double-digit winning streak in the division, 155 pounds, that most people believe is the best and deepest in the UFC. It has long been the deepest division in the UFC, and Tony Ferguson has maneuvered his way through that and had eventually captured the interim lightweight championship. One of the most diverse strikers that you've ever seen. I mean, the elbow he hit against Josh Thompson to split him open oh. was unbelievable. And couple that with the college wrestling background, and every time you step into the octagon with Ferguson, you know you're going to have your hands full. From him walking to the octagon dancing, to getting in there and being so free-flowing, Tony Ferguson is one of the best fighters on the UFC roster. He really thrives under the bright lights. He is a finisher of the highest order. His training habits are truly the stuff of legend. Eddie Bravo talks about this guy training for six hours straight. Oh. Probably ill-advised for most fighters, <laughs> but El Kukui can do it. He can do it. of the tape for this lightweight fight. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Veteran Herbert Dean, Ready, our fight. referee for this one. Ready. Let's do it. Ferguson has been such a submission threat and successful striker in the UFC that people sleep on the fact that he does come in with wrestling credentials. Two-time collegiate All-American at Grand Valley State University. El Kukui gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body. Oh, oh big ground strikes continue to land. Oh, looking for the submission now. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now, he's advancing. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Making all these shots count. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Or guys start to attack triangle. The Korean Superboy going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Changing the position and getting that reversal. Nice defense. Come on, elbows. This is a terrible position. Keep moving those hips until you get your guard. Just over two minutes now to go. 
And busy as he looks to improve position here. Great ground and pound by this man. El Cuckoo is back in full now. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he need Well, he's got his back now. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Ferguson. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Oh. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. While well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Ferguson. And look at him attack in the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down, try to pass him all the way to He's got it locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. There's the horn, what around it was DC, and of course the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush, go right. back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. He throws the teeth now and it lands. Effective jab there by Ferguson. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by the Korean Super Bowl. This is where he wants to be. Hard ground and pound shot there. And yes, it was hard. Open it right up. Ferguson's back in full guard now. And there you go, again, half guard. Three minutes to go. Get the ball here. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. He needs to find a better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. Oh, that's getting in deep now. And just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. Oh, big diving punch to the head. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Got to be careful there. Reversal to top position by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, good ground and pound here. Strong reversal there. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh! Ten seconds to go in the round. Good round. All right, 
right, so another round is in the books and a huge knockdown strike for him yet again. The striking is on point tonight. Big, big round from Choi. Right, Listen, your kicks are working. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? You ready? The third Good. round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to this duel between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to... He's hurt! He's hurt! If you get a guy hurt that bad, you cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the pickings. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> the inside leg kick is there by the Korean Super Bowl. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. The takedown is not there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. He gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. Bruce Buffer now inside the octagon has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started, maybe a few years removed from his fighting prime.